Good morning. Out here working on my C10 again. Got my LS in and went to fire it with the Holly, Holly Terminator X um, engine management. Fired right up. Uh, had it on the test stand. Uh, not test stand, but something I made to run this engine. Uh, outside the truck. Never heard it run. Pulled it from my donor. Just wanted to make sure it was going to hit. And it fired up fine, but only ran it 15, 20 seconds. So got it in the truck. Started running it. And I couldn't get it, it just, it would not run right and couldn't figure out what was going on. So I took a thermal camera, checked it out and found that my rear two cylinders were cold. So check the headers, they were ambient temperature, everything else was running hot. So I knew I had two cylinders that were not firing. Couldn't figure out why. Uh, first thing was the easiest test for spark. I had spark, uh, pulled an injector wire, um, Use my test light. I had signal going to the injector, so that leads it down to a fuel problem, and started pulling injectors. And what I found is I brought them in into the shop, and I had two of them that were clogged, which made sense. The truck been sitting five years, so ethanol and fuel, it's dirty, it's sat there. I had two of them that were stopped up. So I took them out and cycled them with a little rig I'll show you here in a minute, and got those two firing. Put them all back in, and this is after I'd pulled fuel rails off each side because I had number four and number seven that were not firing. Put them back in, those rear two fired, all of a sudden I had, what, number two and four that wouldn't fire. So I decided to take them all out, I was going to clean all my injectors up and just hopefully not have this hassle anymore. So I want to show you how I was cleaning injectors and I'll show you all this and how it works. Um, I'll even put somewhere in the middle here of it firing off the, um, sitting on the stand and how it sounded. So I've got my fuel rails out. I've already done one sitting down there. That one's complete and clean. I've got all my injectors out here. So I'm not going to go in detail of how to pull these, get them all out. Um, there's plenty of other videos for that. But what I've done is I've pulled each of my injectors out. And the one on the left over here I've cleaned. The one on the right over here I have not. I got one over there on the bench ready to go. I'm going to show you what I do to clean it. And I'm using an ultrasonic cleaner. So you can see the difference just in the exterior, the color difference. The one on the left has been run through it one time, and the one on the right hasn't ran through it all yet. So I know this is just the exterior, the interior is really what's important on this, but I'll show you what I'm doing and how I'm checking the spray pattern. Nothing technical, really nothing even all that great, but I just wanna make sure that they're spraying before I put them back in. My Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner, um, love harbor freight for low use items like this but what i'm doing as you can see the injector i've got this pigtail that i pulled off of my donor i kept the wiring harness in case i needed anything I'm glad i did because i used this but you could put alligator clips and do whatever you need to do running it back just 12 volts off a booster box and as i have it inside i'm just cycling you probably can hear it you see it actually spitting a little bit of fuel and <clears throat> I'm doing that as it's in the ultrasonic cleaner so that it will actually hopefully get some of that gum off of what's holding up in there. And I let it heat up. Let's see if I can do a camera with the camera. Oh yeah, about 110. If I leave it there with the lid on for a long time, it'll get up to about 140. But I didn't want to I didn't know what to clean this with. I didn't want to use anything flammable because it's heating and I know the flash point of anything sea foam or anything I use to be lower. Still, just safety concerns, I didn't want to do that. So, at Harbor Freight, I bought the Ultrasonic Cleaning, General Purpose Cleaning Powder. Um, putting a little bit in here, stirring it up, and just a little bit of Simple Green, um, just some type of degreaser. So, what I've been doing, I drop it in. All my wires are tangled up because I'm trying to do this one-handed. But I just, I found that if it's in the center, for some reason it works better. I mean, it kind of makes sense versus it being over in the corner. But I'm trying to get both 
sides of it submerged. And I didn't want to put a ton of water in here. I just went to the minimum line. I didn't want the water line to be above and get into my electrical components here. So with that sitting like that, we'll set it to 180, three minutes, and turn it on. See how dirty the water's gotten. I got my injector after the first pass through the ultrasonic cleaner. And I had to set this up so I can do it with two hands, but I want to show you how I was checking the uh, pattern on these. Just in basic air, I had it down about, or I have it down to about 20 PSI. And I used the contraption I was showing you earlier to open the injector and then spray. And that, quite a bit of fuel, so it looks good. You can hear it clicking. So, that's the first pass on this injector. We'll do two more. I don't want to bore anyone, but we want to show it again. So you can see my water's already dirty. This is after three first passes of the cleaning and just how much it takes off. So I haven't done this injector at all yet. Just dropped it in. So I know I hate it when guys say just put this and that together and it works these couple chemicals So I was going to show you how much I was putting in of what so first Like I showed you before got this general purpose cleaning powder. I bought it at the same place I bought the ultrasonic cleaner and I just put a little bit in here and that's not an exact measurement It tells you how much to put per the instructions I just kind of add what looks right. I mean, it made it easier to put it in. It smells like um, washing powder. It smells really good. And for my degreaser, as I told you, I was using Simple Green. And just a little bit. And that's it. So I'll let that heat up. This is fresh water, straight out of the tap, so it's cold right now. I'm going to let it heat up and then run my second pass on all four injectors. Got all four of my injectors on this side, this bank, through their third pass. And interesting, the first one you saw how bad the water was. This is after two passes on four injectors. So the first one definitely got the most off. And I, after each one, I took the air nozzle, blew it down, got all the water off of it, let it sit. One more thing I wanted to try to show before I... Put them back in and hopefully this will focus but at the on these are ls injectors on the end of these injectors are four come on there are four holes and before they were stopped up some of them and you could see it and i'm this is not going to focus oh there we go so you see the four holes you see how the one at the 5 o'clock position is shiny? 
That's how I can tell that it's unstopped now because that's light reflecting off of the plunger that's inside the injector. If you turn it just right, you can see it again. So I'm looking for that four times. And it looks like these are all unstopped now. So now I'm going to put these back together. Go outside and put them in the truck and we'll fire it up and see what it does. Well, got my fuel rails back in. Everything buttoned up with my clean injectors. Hopefully they're clean enough. Ignore my rat's nest of wiring. I had to get this truck out of the garage pretty quick. Had a, uh, some stuff for bathroom remodels coming in. I had to put it somewhere dry. So I had this got uh, moved out to the shed. But I'm going to cycle the key a few times. Check the leaks. Before I turn the key and hopefully start it. Let's check for leaks and let it prime. So initially I don't see any fuel spewing out. So with this Holly kit, when you turn the key, the fuel pump runs for 10 seconds, I think. So we'll just do it two or three times. Sound like it's getting fuel up here. These would be where they're going to leak if it's going to, since this is where I pulled it apart. And I'm not seeing anything wrong. I'll do it one more time just for good measure. And yeah, it sounds like it's got fuel in it. Let's see if it starts. Thank you.